Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for you take. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest methods to unlock 90 FPS or 120 FPS in the latest 3.4 BGMI or PUBG update on any Samsung phone or other devices without needing root access. We have uploaded a few alternative methods on the channel. You can check those out after watching this one. All right, let's begin with the process. There are a few prerequisites you need to follow. First, connect your phone to a Wi-Fi network and make sure you have updated your game to the latest 3.4 version. Next, enable developer mode on your device by typing on the build number 8 times. This will activate it. After that, you need to download 3 applications. 90fps plus 120fps and iPad view, Shizuku and Termux. Now open the Shizuku application and click on the pairing option. Grant all the requested permissions which typically include access to the notification panel. Next go back and click on the new option that appears which is the developer option. Scroll down and enable wireless debugging. Once you enable it a prompt will appear asking if you really want to enable it. Simply click on allow. Now select the pair device with pairing code option. A unique code will be displayed which you need to enter in the new notification panel window. Go back, click on the start option and wait until the script finishes. You should see a message at the top of the home page indicating that Shizuku is running. If your device is not rooted, it will use the ADB version 13.5 and for a rooted device, it will use a version 13.5 for root access. Now open the 90fps plus 120fps application and choose the second option which is the new Shizuku method. Select the version of the game you are using from the top of the screen. Next slide any one of the first three options. Once you unlock the higher fps, a prompt will indicate that 120fps may not appear in the graphics settings. But you can still enjoy the higher FPS in the game, which is fair enough. Click on unlock and watch the advertisement. Do not skip. Once you return to the application, slide to launch the game and the higher FPS will be ready to play. I usually don't recommend using these scripts as the following graphic settings are not optimized for your device and you may encounter frame drops. However, for the sake of experimentation, you can use these settings. Here you can see the FPS meter which indicates that the game is running at the highest frame rate. Initially it supported 60 FPS which for BGMI meant extreme mode. You can see that the game is not consistently running at the maximum frames per second. Rather it fluctuates between 100 and 120 FPS. This isn't a big deal as the game simply isn't optimized for the device to run at maximum settings. The device also hits up a bit after playing for a while which can cause more frame drops but the game remains playable and enjoyable especially if you are not a hardcore gamer. Before wrapping up the video I want to share some do's and don'ts. First try not to change the graphic settings after installing the higher FPS mode as this can cause the mode to become deactivated. Another thing to consider is to avoid disconnecting your Wi-Fi network that you paired with the Shizuku application through wireless debugging as this can also cause Shizuku to become disabled. Additionally, make sure to keep Shizuku running in the background while using the mode. I guess we have reached the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.